Hey, what's going on YouTube? Tech and Tweaks back again with another video. Today I'm going to show you guys 10 amazing tweaks that you can put on your jailbroken devices. So let's go ahead and jump right into the video. Real quick update about the AirPods giveaway. So as you guys can see, we're at 746 likes. I was shooting for 2,500 likes, but it seems like that's gonna take a little longer than anticipated. So as soon as this gets to 1,000 likes, I will be picking a random comment on this video. And that random commenter will be winning the AirPods Pro. I will be announcing the winner on my Twitter. So make sure you go ahead and follow me over there. Now let's get into the tweaks. All right, this first tweak I have for you is called Chusma, and this is a great tweak. It allows you to see who is stalking you pretty much. So if I go onto this phone off camera and I try to track this phone right here, as you can see, I get a notification saying that someone is tracking your device through Find My iPhone. So if we go right here, it basically just notifies you that someone is using Find My Friends to locate where you're at. Now, a couple of my buddies and my wife like to use this, so now I can see when they are tracking me. The developer said that he plans to update this tweak to show you the name of the person that is tracking you, because right now it just says someone is tracking you, but it doesn't specify who. However, with future updates, it will allow you to see who exactly is tracking you. All right, rolling right into the next tweak, as you can see on my lock screen right here, I have categorized notifications, and this is due to a tweak called Axon. It basically just makes your notifications look a whole lot more organized and cleaner. So if we jump over to the settings of that tweak, you can see that there are a couple different settings to adjust. There's a dark mode, you can select the style, there's a bunch of different options that you can go ahead and fit to your liking. However, I just think that these notifications look super clean. So if you get a lot of notifications, this can really help organize them on your device. All right, moving into the next tweak, as you can see that I have a custom wallpaper on my settings app. So that is thanks to my wall right here. If we go ahead and open the settings of this tweak, we can select images for different things. So for example, I have this image set for my settings app. If I open a folder, I have a custom image in my folders. If I go to the phone app, you can see that I also have that image set as my phone, but for the dial pad, I have a different image. Basically what this tweak allows you to do is enable custom images for different areas on the iPhone. So it'll be different if I go into the share sheet. So if I go ahead and push share, it brings up a different custom image. It can really help out if you are trying to theme your device because you can set any image for any specific menu in iOS. You can also adjust the opacity of the menus. So I kind of have it set to about 50%. So you can still see the different options in the settings but you can make it completely transparent. Anyways, guys, that one is called My Wall. This next tweak I have for you is called Gradient Bubble Color, and what it does is it basically just changes the gradient of all of your bubbles in iMessage. So as you scroll, you can make it multicolored like I have. You can also adjust the typing indicator. So I have cyan with black dots. So if I started to text myself, so as you can see, my bubble indicator is cyan with black dots. You can also adjust the send bar color to whatever color that you would like. You can go ahead and adjust the cursor to whatever color that you want. You can go ahead and customize the gradient color. So blue will be at the bottom of where you are texting and green will be at the top. So when you scroll, it kind of does the rainbow effect. You can adjust the sender tail, the bubber the bubble tail. You can adjust the text color. I just have it set to white so I can still read the text. There's just a bunch of different colors and customizations that you can set. And the best part about it is it is 100% free. This next tweak is a super simple tweak called Air Pop-Up Connect. So if we go ahead and open up my AirPods Pro case, you'll see that it'll show a pop-up on my device. For some reason, I know they're supposed to connect automatically. However, my AirPods Pro just seem to have trouble figuring out which device to connect to. So it's easy just to push the button and now I know for sure it is connected to this device. 
So if we go into the settings of this application, there's two styles. There's Apple style and plain. The Apple style just makes it look more professional in my opinion. It looks like it actually belongs there. However, if you've been having issues getting your AirPods to connect to the right device, this little tweak comes in handy and it'll make sure that it connects to the right device. A useful tweak to have whenever you guys win your AirPods Pro. All right, so this next tweak is called attention and basically when your device is just sitting there idle for whatever your screen time duration is. For example, I've set mine to 30 seconds. So after 30 seconds passes, the device is just gonna blur out and look like it's inactive all right so i don't know if you guys can really see that but the device has just blurred out all right this next tweak is actually pretty insane it's called power cuff what it does is it will throttle your device and i have noticed significant battery improvement after i've used this device however if you use a lot of tweaks and you try to use this device, it can cause a lot of glitching to go on. So I think the best settings are either light or nominal. It'll eke out extra hours of battery life because of the underclocking it's performing. Heavy kind of just makes the device a little too unusable. It starts to lag and slow down a little bit. Of course, now that I'm on camera, it's not gonna do that, but I promise you I've been testing this tweak out. Moderate will get you probably the best battery life and performance. You'll notice that there are some frame drops and it does kind of lag. I was getting the iPhone is overheated sign and needs to cool off because the iPhone thought that the throttling was caused by the extreme heat. If you really need to eke out some extra battery like below 15, 10%, go ahead and go to moderate and this will definitely help increase your battery life. But anyways, guys, that one is called Power Cuff. Very useful tweak if you have an older iPhone where the battery life is trash. This will definitely help get you some extra hours of juice out of your device. All right, this next tweak is called A Bypass, and all this is is a jailbreak detection bypass. It will work on certain apps that maybe other bypasses won't work on. I personally use Shadow and Kern Bypass as my main two jailbreak detection bypass methods. However, a bypass is probably just as good. I know that it does block a couple apps that Shadow doesn't block. However, Shadow does block apps that this one doesn't block. This is basically just if you need a jailbreak detection bypass and you haven't tried a bypass yet for whatever app that you're trying to bypass. All right, this next tweak I have for you guys is called Custom Sounds 13. All this basically does is change the system sounds. So for example, here is the charge sound. You can go ahead and switch it. I think the iOS 6 one sounds cool or the air power. Anyways, guys, you can go ahead and adjust the sounds for your keyboard, for your lock sound, passcode sound, unlock sound. Right now I'm rocking the Nintendo Switch sound. So if I adjust my volume, it's got the Nintendo Switch sound. Unlock sound, you can go back to the Galaxy S4 or you can do iOS 6. I like the iOS 6 one also. But anyways guys, that one is called Custom Sounds 13 and it just allows you to go ahead and change any of the default sounds for your iDevice. All right, and the very last tweak that I have for you is just a widget called Moon, 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 I don't know. Anyways, it's just this widget right here. It's a neon cursive with the date and the time and the battery. I think it looks really clean. It's a Zen HTML widget, but it also is compatible with Lock Plus Pro. So if we go ahead and jump over to Zen HTML, you can go ahead and set it as your lock screen or home screen. Right now, I currently have it set to my home screen. It just sits here at the bottom. It does update in real time. Just looks super clean for whatever theme you're trying to run. Anyways, guys, that one is called Moon. Don't forget to check it out. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. Make sure you go ahead and feed that YouTube algorithm all the like buttons. And if you love the video, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to enter in that giveaway. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.
At this point, we had already shot at the iPhone a couple times, but we missed. So this time we actually thought that we hit the iPhone, so we were all excited and we were surprised by how little damage there was. No break. But then we rewinded it back and saw this.